Hello my fine pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and give me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I am setting up my, so what do I call my project planner? It's my business planner for 2025. So I basically am going to take this planner, this is a vertical from 2019 and I'm just going to redate it and make it, make it work for 2025. So this planner was actually sent to me by a girlfriend who was no longer using Happy Planner. She uses Traveler's Notebooks. And I just, you know that I love dots. I, you know, this is just, this is just the way it is. I'm going to keep the pink because for this, I don't mind what it looks like because I'm using it very functionally. And I'm just going to share with you how I use this. This is my current one. I basically just, I just put some washi in. This is the content that goes up on this channel or Patreon or YouTube. Is This is my content. This is the steps that I have to do for that content to go live. And then this is what I'm going to do each day. So like this day I'm working on this. Like it's a it's always working forward. And then in the sidebar, I've got email, Etsy, tasks, and now I've got Patreon. So that's what I do. And all I've done is just use washi and a couple of little stickers sometimes to decorate it. But when my girlfriend sent me this, because I looked at it and I was like, let me just go to December because I've already started redating. When I looked at it, I was like, it's already got the decor. It's already got color and stuff on it right? So what I'm thinking is I just leave it because the, the weeks, they're just like this. They're just like this. And I'm like, I don't need anything else on here. Because again, content separated by my to-do list, task list for this, and then separated by my things that I'm going to do that day. All I have to do is cover up this, redate this here. You can see I redated it. And then it was in May that I realized because I changed the days up here to be a Monday start because I prefer a Monday start, that the dates actually lined up. Because Thursday the 1st in May, yes, and then July the 1st is Tuesday, yep. So that actually lines up for me. All I had to do was just redate this, but I'm going to have to redate the weeklies. So what I did, and if you're on my email list, you will already have had this. So what I did was I went and I did some redating. I just basically took the colors that were in here and then made a fresh set. I've got all of these, all of these. And then all I've done is I've done some boxes in the same colors as this in the middle and this on the top and that's what I've done. So it's been very, very easy to redate this is what I will, I will say. It's been very, very easy to redate this. So the other thing I'm going to have to do is clearly this is out of date. So what I did was I took that as inspiration and I made a similar one. Now it's not as bright and colorful, but that's okay. But I took it as inspiration and I made my own because again, this is Sunday start. It really annoys me that their month, their month here starts on a Sunday, but their weeklies start on a Monday. Annoys me. Of course, I do need that for the currently page. So yes, this will be a printout. It will probably have been sent out already if you're on my list, because I don't know when that was going live, but yes. If not, you will be receiving it soon. And I'll probably give another opportunity to download the printable that's like this. And when you get this, it's not all different dates, colors like this. It's all in chunks. So like there's pink, there's green. I think there's the blue and the orange. I think the only one that's missing is the lavender. Just because, just because it wouldn't fit nicely on the sheets. Just because it wouldn't fit nicely on the sheets it was just too much so yeah and i'm weird and i like everything to fit nicely 
and this video may be in a couple of parts purely because I'm gonna have to go and redate all of this and I'm not gonna do that all today so you may see my clothing change it may have already changed from the intro because I don't remember what I was wearing I've cut that too short and that's okay I've cut that too short but that's okay I would rather have it too short than too big okay then I find some adhesive and just literally put adhesive there, 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 and there. Because again, I'm not being super precise. This is just, just for making sure that I've got all my ducks in a row is how I like to think about it. Okay, that's there. And then I just need to think about these. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do January with you and then we'll see how we go. So that is on the 20th. I'm literally just going to put a little white out in there and then put 20 in. There we go. There we go. And that's done. That's all I had to do for that. Again, this is why I'm kind of liking this planner for this purpose, because I don't have to decorate that. I don't decorate it anyway. I'm not decorating this right now. I don't even think I have it in this planner. I don't even have the currently page in this planner. So yeah, so it doesn't matter. But this will probably be used for goals for the month ahead, because I like to work ahead. So here I will probably be working on end of February and beginning of March, more like Etsy things and stuff like that. So then we come to January, which I've already done. All I have to do is wipe this out and I'm not being super precise. And in here somewhere, there are 2025 stickers in the purple. If you can hear a crinkly noise, it's because somebody is playing with a toy. Yep, there we go. Boom, done. These are again just printable of mine, just a printable of mine that I've put on and yeah, and that's that's that done. Again, I don't put anything here. I just don't, I just, yeah, I just don't bother. First is a Wednesday. First is Wednesday. Again, I'm just going to do one week with you and then I will disappear, come back. And then here, all I'm going to do there is just cover that. I don't need that. And then the boxes, the boxes that I have, are just going to cover that up. And then that will be my email for the week. This is my, my whole plan. That will be my email for the week that I send out. That's usually on a Wednesday. And then I'm going to come in, find my stencil. There it is. Find my stencil. I might, I might see if I have a purple pen. Oh, I do. And then I'm just going to come in with this. Not exact match, but it's near enough. Put my little checklist in. And that's all I do. I just bring a little checklist in there. And then at the bottom, I just do like three or whatever little things so that I've got a checklist. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. But when she sent me this, when my, when my friend Shelly sent me this, I was like, this would be perfect because I wouldn't use this as my, like my wellness planner because I like to do like stickered spreads for that. But for this purpose, it works beautifully. It's also made me realize that because I have those 30 cent planners and some of them have stuff down the spine that I don't generally like, I can just save those for 2026 and use them in 2026 as my business planner with the stuff down the spine and stuff. Because again, 
I've tended to just, because it's got the same theme the whole year. It's more of a task planner and project planner. Again, I think I've explained how I used it before, but yeah. And that's it. And that's how I use it. I printed off all of the boxes for the month, all of the numbers. So all I have to do is go in. I'm so grateful that she sent me this because it's inspired a whole printable and made me realize for this, I don't mind it being the same theme for the whole year. So I have, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's the, I'm pretty sure it's a vertical, but I'm, I have a, I think it's modern wild or something, but I've got a couple of planners that are vertical with stuff. I'm going to call it stuff like down the spine and stuff. Won't bother me if I, um, if I use it this way, but yeah, she literally used it. I think two weeks. And she uses friction pens, which I actually use friction pens for this planner because I end up crossing things out. All right, so that's it. I'm just going to go redate this and then I will catch you up to date, catch you up to speed when we come back. The other thing that I have to do is fill in dates, days for, I have to put days in here, days in here and then days in here. So I've got to put some days in, redate the weeklies, cover up this bit, and then figure out the holiday days in the currently. I'm gonna go do that, and I will be right back in your time. In my time, it could be at least a week. <laughs> All right, catch you later. All right, I have just done three months. So the first quarter of 2025 is set up I went through, put the little things in. I put the things in that I need in the sidebar. That's email, Etsy, Patreon, and then I've got a little to-do list for the week. And I've done that for the three months. Just done it for the three months. And then I've got the checklist in there so that I can sit down, if I have a spare moment, grab my pens, and then just finish off the rest of the year. There is quite the sticker bump is what I will say, but the difference with this is that I can take out, once I've done January and January is done, I take it out. I'm gonna take it out and it will go into a holding planner so that this sticker bump will gradually lessen and lessen. The other thing that I will say is if you are experiencing a sticker bump and you're trying to redate, get your craft mat and put that underneath to give you more of a solid surface. Um, I've got some leftover stickers, which I'm going to put in the front of the planner. I'm gonna put in the front, those will go in there. So again, I'm leaving this in. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to carry on filling these in so again, these will live in my planner tote and I'll try and get those done in the next couple of weeks. So the other thing that I want to do involves the back of the planner. So in my current business planner, I've got separate dividers. Now I've got three in this one. I was gonna try and reuse these, but I have another plan these I have another plan for these so what I'm going to do is make some dividers now I've got these I wanted four so I've got these with four dividers I'm going to cover them in pattern paper I've just got out these were from a monthly extension pack if you know me you know that I don't like color blocking but they were super cheap and I couldn't resist so I'm just going to get some pattern paper, put patterned paper on them because again, all they are are dividers. All they are are dividers. So to do this, I'm just gonna get my paper trimmer. So because I want this as my first sheet, I'm going to get my adhesive, run my adhesive along here. Now, I like to put a little smidge 
in all the little nooks and crannies there and then put a little bit in the middle and then I'm going to flip it over put that on there and as you can see here I am going to have to do both sides because I've got this on this side I'm just going to do the same thing again I like to start on this end because you've got the tab on this end so it's just easier to have your straight edge line up with that tab then you don't have to cut around the tab and then we just grab our punchy punch and then hope that this cuts it and then that will just go in the back all right I'm going to do that a couple more times so that I've got all four all righty that is my dividers completed so I'm just going to put those in I don't remember which way around they went but let's put them in that way this is why if I ever see a cute pattern paper or something I will always pick it up because it's always worth picking it up so that you can make a divider out of it and then to put my things on there I'm just going to do a little a little tab I should have checked to see if this was clear or white I think this is white this is white okay I wanted clear never mind I'm just going to change the cartridge that is white I wanted clear I have had this in my stash for many 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 years many 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 years and I could have just cut this on but done this on sticker paper this just saves having to do that if you don't have a printer or something like that you can just do it on your little label maker I'm not sure the last time that I bought one of the rolls of tape for this I'm really not and then I'm going to put them on this side as well just so that I've got a matching side all right the only thing I need to do now is put some filler paper in here I'm gonna take this this was a notebook that I got I don't even know I don't even know when how and all that I'm just gonna continue taking this to pieces I think Shelly sent me this a couple of years ago and I'm just gonna take it because again I'm using what I have I'm using my stash I'm not going to use this one because the paper is not white I don't know if you can see that it's not white it's like a cream I don't like that and two it's bound it's bound which I do not like I'm actually just going to take that and put that in my December daily thing just in case I want to use a little bit of ribbon again I say this but I keep everything in case in case I want to use it it will just go into my stash so because I'm lazy rather than take a little bit off each I'm just gonna have that top corner rounded doesn't bother me might bother you and in that's the case you can just take a little bit off each corner all I have to remember is when I'm doing this and I'm putting it in my planner I want the top right corner to be the same on each page so it's the top right corner that will be rounded other than that it doesn't bother me the other thing that I will suggest is I'm cutting like four or five here at a time because they're thinner than regular planner paper they're thinner sheets if it were regular paper like the 32 pound planner paper I'd probably only do a couple at a time or I'd get out my other paper trimmer and I like to push away from me which also helps the other thing is that this thing only takes three sheets of paper at a time and even then 
it doesn't really like to take three sheets of paper. I'm going to divide this fairly evenly between the four sections. All right, and that is my project planner, business planner set up for 2025. It's a little on the chunky side, but it has all the stickers in it already. That's it, it's done. It's done, I don't do anything else with this. So other than filling in the checklist thing that I have here, I'm done, I'm done. I hope that you got some useful information, tips, tricks, etc., out of this. If you did, you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my Planner Pals. Bye.